Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is the Ramble. And, you know, we go until midnight on the East Coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, he's in Massachusetts now, so when I write him a letter saying we're going to be doing this, I, I don't accommodate for the West Coast any longer. No, 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 but although I wish you did. That's Steve Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how are you, folks? How you doing, Steve? Actually, yeah, pretty good. I got a weird... um message in my um my facebook page from a fan yeah a fan of, of doing this show oh really yeah and what did he say uh I, been I'm... a fan for years and years and love listening to you with alex oh okay uh, by the way, you know you're you're you're. Uh, 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 they always put the name of the person who's who you're talking to on Zoom in the corner, right? Right. Yours says HP test. <laughs> well, that's my new stage name. Yeah, all you got you can change that anytime you want to. You know, you just go down there. I don't know where you go. Yeah, but you change it. You can change it simply. Right. Yeah. I, like I can actually, you know something? I can actually change it for you. Believe it or not, I think. Well, I think I can. Let me see here. Rename. Okay. Here we go. Steve and Kravitz. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now watch what happens, folks, when I click this button. Now your name is Steven Kravitz. Imagine that. Yeah, and I can do it from here. I, have I don't have to go to new license. I have control over your life. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the all-seeing, the all-knowing Alex Bennett. Hmm. So how's everything in Massachusetts? Snowy up there? No, 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 but just cold. Just cold. Yeah, it's just cold here, too. It, uh, I don't know what it is today, but it's been in the 30s, you know. Right, 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 consistently. Yeah, I, I would like it to be, uh, I, I like, I don't like, I don't mind cold weather as much as I mind warm weather. I would rather it be 30 degrees than be like 90. Oh, I'll take 90 any day really? of the week. Now, I, you see, but that's because I was raised in San Francisco, and the mean temperature there never goes over 55. You know, that's right. It, it, Isn't it the, one of the most temperate cities in the world? It's like, it's like 55 in the winter and maybe goes up to 80 during the summer. And uh, I often... Well, it's just the opposite. Huh? Or just the opposite. It goes down to thirty in the in the summer. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, I used to call San Francisco the world's only air conditioned city. Because oh. because that, that fog kind of rolls in, you know. Right, 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 so right. So you, you can have a fairly warm day. Come evening, fog rolls in. Boom, air conditioning. So, anyway, how's everything in Massachusetts? What's doing? You, you, Going you know, out, just, out, going out to parties, doing a lot of gigs. Oh, you kidding? I can't stop. I can't. I can't. Uh, my calendar is booked. <laughs> booked. There's not a single day open date for the next foreseeable future. We had this uh, this case going right for our apartment. Been going on for, I think it's eight years now. Eight years. We haven't paid. Uh, we haven't paid uh, any um, uh, rent. And we've been fighting with the guy who rented it to us, who couldn't rent it to us. A whole big story. Anyway, we're in, we've been in court. So far, we've spent about $100,000 defending this thing and, and fighting this thing. And it's not against the landlord. The guy who rented the apartment to us uh, is, uh, is on our side because they, he, there's a third party suing us. It's really weird, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure it's all going to turn out okay. So 
we were supposed to have a uh, uh, go back into court last March. Okay. Okay. Forget that. Boom. Oh, it- Goodbye. See you later. Now it's almost a year later, and we get a note from our lawyer saying, the judge who says he's ready to kind of hear the case, and he can take us, and it, and it reads, we will take you into a coronavirus-proof courtroom. Now, how do, you make, how do you make a courtroom coronavirus-proof? What? It's the government. They can do anything. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, I mean, somebody can just breathe on you, and you got it. You know, so yeah, what? What so is just like the, the vaccine doesn't really work until a month after you get it. We, well, I'm getting the uh, the vaccine tomorrow. Are you really? Yes. Uh, I have an appointment, my my wife and I, and we're supposed to go get it. And uh, the, by the way, they said that we're running out of vaccine here in New York, but it won't run out till Thursday, so we're okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I mean, they give you the you know the shot and um, it supposedly uh, then you got to go back a month later and suppose, right. supposedly it takes about two weeks before the first one k- takes effect and gives you about 70 percent protection right right, okay. right right and then the the th- the next one kind of amplifies it and takes you up to 95 percent protection right right, uh, right but you know knowing me I'm the other five percent. No, you're not. Uh, you're Come not. on. Come but, on. But anyway, so so they says, we can go in. We, we have a, 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 in the courtroom, a COVID-proof environment. Well, what is that? They put you in little glass boxes. I guess. Something ridiculous. Okay. And uh, so he said, or we can do it virtually. So I'm up for a virtual trial. I'm sick really? and tired of sitting in a courtroom and, you know. I just as soon, uh, you know, do it virtually. Sure, why not, Mister Mister Schwarzman? Will you take the stand, please? Thank you very much. I'm here already. You know, right, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right, right. So anyway, I don't know. It's just all. I, but anyway, so I mean, we've had this whole COVID thing, and I'm I'm sick and tired of not going out. You know, oh, I'm, I'm so sick and tired. No movies, no theater, yeah. no stand up. The performing arts really got killed. Well, you know what bothers me about the performing arts getting killed is here in New York, our governor gets on the air the other day and goes, well, the Buffalo Bills had a game and we did our COVID test for everybody coming into the thing and it's working out just fine and I, our Bills did fine. And blah, blah. Fuck you with your sports. Why can't you do something for the theaters right. And, and, right. And, and the arts like the Metropolitan Opera and so on? I mean, what are you yeah. doing about that? Okay. You, no, I don't give a shit about your fucking sports. Sports brings in a billion, billion, no. billion dollars. No, but the, there's more to it than that. You know why we spend? They spend so much on sports and are so deferential to sports. The, because of betting. The, the gambling business. Yes. Absolutely. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. Well, well it's you, all geared towards gambling now. It, well, it is gambling. I mean. Otherwise, why do you want to watch a bunch of guys run up and down a field if you right. haven't got some kind of investment in it? Right, right, you know, right, right, right. And I, uh, quite frankly, I don't know how football is played. Can you explain it to me? <laughs> yeah, 11 guys on each side run into each other until one crosses the line and then they get points. Is that it? Because Pretty I've much. had people try to explain it to me, right? Uh, I've, I've had football, big football players who used to come on my show in San Francisco. Every time I have them on, I would say the same thing. I don't know how football is played. And they were amazed. And then I said, please explain it to me. And they started to explain it to me. And they get to something like, I don't know, first down and I'm lost. Right, 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 right. You know, I know baseball. It's not a complicated game. Guy gets up, guy throws a ball to the guy, guy hits the ball, runs to first base. That's easy to understand. Right, 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 right. Uh, You know, it's not like, well, if he runs to first base, then he has a first down, but then he has has to wait until, but no, just what he, 
That's why I love baseball. Okay, right. I mean, I'm not, I don't follow it or whatever, but I love going to a baseball game. Oh, yeah. And I love the history of baseball, but quite frankly, I can't tell you, you know, who's in the World Series this year. Right, 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 right. So, right. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. So, but I love the game. Yeah, I, but I love the game, and it's there's nothing nicer on a nice summer day or spring day to be sitting out. In the, in the stands with a f- bunch of friends eating hot dogs, drinking beer. I don't drink beer, but soda, and just just the 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 the, the atmosphere. It's so pastoral. Rest. There you go. That's the key word. Yeah. That's the key word. And and uh, so I love it from that standpoint. And uh, right. I, and then if you think about it, it's the most perfect game ever invented. They say that if the bases, for instance, were right. one foot different. The whole game would change. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's geometrically a perfect game. Yes. And it Imagine all that. And all came out of kids playing uh, playing stickball, you know. Right, 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 right. It's amazing. And the, yeah. And and the the history and the lore of it is terrific. Oh yes. I mean, I love the Black Sox scandal of nineteen nineteen. There you go. You know. So there you go. Do you, do you have a favorite sport? Baseball. Baseball. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, otherwise, I have no. I don't. I I have no idea how basketball is played. I think you run back and forth, and then you throw it through a hoop. That's uh, right. That's right, all I right, know about right. that. Soccer. I watch soccer. Mm-hmm. You ever watch soccer? No. Actually, that's an exciting game. It's a very exciting game, and pretty simple to understand. No, I get that. Yeah, and it's a but it but it's a, a I mean, to begin with it's the most popular sport in the world. Yes. You know, we're the only ones here that have our little thing called football, but they call theirs football, and it's a whole different deal. Yes, because it's played with your feet. Exactly. So anyway, they 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 really do a nice job of it, and I have always been a big fan of. Uh, I, I, I I had a girlfriend, and she wanted to see the soccer matches, so we went to a bar and we watched the soccer matches, and I thought I'd be bored, and I wasn't. Really? Yeah, no, I wasn't at all. It was very quite exciting, more so than American football. Well, that's got too many timeouts in it. Well, you know what I don't like about American football. It's loutish, you know. It's it, 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 do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. The, the feeling is loutish. Yes. Just I'm gonna go hit somebody and I'm gonna go jump on them. And I'm gonna go bump into them and I'm gonna. Soccer's different. Soccer is like I'm kicking this ball and I'm kicking this ball and they can't touch it. That's the fun part about it. I'm right, kicking the ball right, right, and I'm right. trying to get it into that you know place where this guy is gonna kick it out before I kick it in. And so now you've won the game, and you've won it one to two. Right, 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 <laughs> yeah. right, 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 right. It's not a high-scoring game. No, it's like hockey. Right. That's why, but football is a high-scoring game. Yeah. Baseball is not a high-scoring game. No. Low score, High-scoring games do better than low-scoring games in popularity. I don't know why some psychologist can tell me, but I... I have no idea how that comes to be. <laughs> What's the worst sport you don't like? Uh, probably soccer. Really? Yeah. Well, I've never gotten into it. You, you've never then. You've never. You've never engaged in watching cricket. Well, no, but not no. That wouldn't even be an option. That is the most boring game I've ever seen. I watched them play it on TV one day in England, and then they got to a certain point of the game about four hours in and said, okay, we're stopping till tomorrow to finish it. Oh, my God. And I'm going, you've already wasted four hours of my time, and you're stopping it to finish it tomorrow? How does that work? You know, and you've got a wicket, you got a thing, and you got to hit the thing. It's just, it, it's so boring, and the guy kind of runs to the base. It's not like baseball. 
you know, no. you've got these the, these things are sp- you can't knock off or something, or you try to knock them off. Or Alex, I have I have no idea what any of the rules are, how you score, what the deal is. Let me just say it's British. Does there that answer go. your question? Yes. Yeah. The other thing the British do that's any good are TV shows, and that's about it. You know. Oh, well, they do some great TV shows. Yeah. Hey, listen, time to go. Is that it? Well, you know, I don't want to sound morbid. So, I mean, when I say time to go, I don't mean die. I mean, just. (laughs) Right, right. I get you. Talk to you next week. Okay, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Stephen Kravitz. Say goodbye to Stephen. Thanks for listening, folks. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that's Stephen Kravitz, and uh, we'll have him on again next week. He only could do one today. He, uh, he's he been taking this uh, hep C medicine, and he says it makes him very, very tired, and he couldn't get through two of them today. We usually do two at a time, so we have a bank. Hello, everybody. How are you? Let's see, tomorrow I'm getting my, if, if everything goes right, because it says here that I'm supposed to, um, I'm supposed to, uh, where is it, uh, uh, vaccine appointment, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, the, uh, uh, let's see, you'll receive a reminder email on the morning of your appointment with additional screening questions. You must complete these questions to receive your Q- QR code. If you have not answered the additional questions or received the QR code, your appointment may be delayed. Uh, wear face covering. Uh, anyone uh, more than five minutes prior to your scheduled appointment, uh, arrive no more than five minutes prior to your scheduled appointment. You will be admitted to the site uh, until just before the time of your scheduled appointment. There will be no space for people who arrive early, and you will not be able to wait on the site. This will be strictly enforced. Uh, be sure to bring your QR code or your appointment ID number. See, it says bring your QR code. They said I had to get that tomorrow morning, right? And then it says bring that or your appointment ID number. You must have a QR code or your appointment ID number to be admitted to the site. So uh, now I'm going to go crazy tomorrow if I don't get that, uh, that uh, mail from them, uh, which I'm supposed to get. Anyway, uh, it's uh, in fact uh, here. Here, wait a minute, just so you can you can see uh, that I'm not uh, I'm not lying to you. Uh, here is the uh, there's there it is. There's the email. You will receive a reminder email. Blah, 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 blah. See your name, Bennett Schwarzman, vaccine site, uh, the Wadley campus. It's a couple of blocks away. It's where we voted. So uh, you know, it's it's going to be easy to find. Uh, anyway, um, let me see here. Uh, I didn't do Phil tonight because I just felt that before the inauguration, um, I, I preferred not to. I, uh, you know, I, I was kind of uh, not off-put. That's not the best term to use here. What's a good term to use? I don't know. Uh, but I was, uh, I was kind of like bothered a little bit by our discussion last week, and I felt it bordered on stuff which might give people the wrong impression or whatever. So, anyway. But uh, I'll bring Phil back next week. I mean, I, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I, I like, I actually like Phil, you know. I like uh, talking to him and having an ongoing discussion with him. He's not a stupid guy, but then I can say, how smart is he if he, <laughs> how smart is he if he, uh, you know, uh, was that, that much into Trump. I never understood that. See, I mean, I've known Phil for years, and I've never known him to be a stupid guy, uh, and I've, I've never known him to not be uh, a, a decent person, and, and it's just the, that poor part of him that I, that I don't get. I um, Also, my lights are working now. I, this mo- they, they, my lights, they sent me a thing. It says, uh, it, you know, uh, uh, upgrade the firmware of your lights right and i i tried it and it didn't work so um you know what can i say i uh, <laughs> uh but i got my lights working see here i can turn them off 
see, now I don't look like that. And then I can turn them back on. I turn them off. And I turn them back on again. Oh, but that one didn't go on, see? Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Now I've only got one light. Hey, you son of a bitch, you. Let me see here. Okay. Let me try this again. There we go. Now both lights go on. Go figure. Huh? Go figure. It doesn't make much sense to me, but uh, uh, I just, uh, uh, nothing ever works right. So now I'm having, this, this light is a little wonky. I don't know. So I, I reset it up, and I, I put in the new firmware, supposedly, and look. See what it does? See, I turn it off. Now will it turn on? Uh, I guess it does. See? You know, I'm tired of this t uh, all this technology, really. You know, I'm just getting very exhausted by it. And then having to do battle with YouTube and with Facebook and all of that, just so that I can do a show for you. You know, I'm, I come out of radio, and in radio we kind of, I, uh, everything just kind of is easier. Just amazing, just amazing to me. Well, anyway. Well, let me, there are a lot of people waiting, and they don't want to hear me talk, because they're going, I want to talk, I want to talk. So we'll just start admitting them to the, the thing. We're a little, um, we're a little, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, there they come. Here we go. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, Alan, and uh, there's uh, Trucker Steve, and there is Robert Natali, and here comes Charlie Wallace. Uh, that's the beginning that's the forming of a citizen panel, folks, as we get ready to discuss uh, everything, every manner of everything. How you doing? Happy uh, inauguration. Oh, happy inauguration to you, too. Yippee fucking yippee. Yippee yippee fuck, I think was the term we used to use. Uh, hello, Robert Natali. Hello, Alan. Hello, Tucker, Trucker Steve. Uh, hello, Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Hello, Trucker <laughs> Steve. Um, um, let's see here, uh, Charlie Wallace and Jeffrey Stein, and hopefully more people will join us. Um, hello, Robert, you have a piece of paper in front of you, and, and what might Mr. That Chairman, be? I have the minutes from last meeting. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> now, every, uh, it seems every night now, uh, we have a sergeant at arms. Uh, and he looks like a sergeant at arms, doesn't he? He looks like the kind of guy that could throw you out of the meeting if he wanted to, right? No, I'm peace, brother. Well, Peace, brother. Oh, yeah, peace, brother. Here comes R Josh Wheeler, by the way. Uh, he's here tonight because he isn't going to the inauguration. Don't want to rub it in. Uh, no, and, no, and, no, no, and, no, 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 no. Okay, so uh, start. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here now, Robert uh, 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 Natali with the, the minutes of right. the previous meeting. Friday's meeting started with a reading of the minutes. Boy, were they hysterical. The guy that wrote them ought to be hired by somebody to write. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody wrote that in my margins. I don't know who it was. <laughs> and um, you are in the was, margins. There's no question about it. Yeah. The first, uh, the first order of discussion was why Brian hadn't attended Thursday night's meeting. He said he was watching something on TV, but nobody believed him. From now on, he needs a note from his mother in order not to <laughs> attend. Well, look, look, he's not here right now. Well, you know, it's starting to get to be a habit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dr. Doom then read his report. Um, he's a great guy, but he's starting to depress the shit out. Oh, that's in the margins, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> We then went on to discuss the 25th Amendment, the 14th Amendment, but it was to no avail because the bum, as we speak, is still in office. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went on to discuss possible pardons and came to the conclusion that if the right palms are greased, Al Capone has a shot. Right. <laughs> we then went on to discuss Alex's COVID shot, Marjorie's COVID shot, Shecky's COVID shot, and while discussing this, Dr. Doom seemed pretty steamed. Um, we went on to discuss the side effects of a shot, including a sore arm, a mild fever, and a nasty case of crotch rot. Oh, by the way, before you go any further, yes, uh, I got something by uh, through Amazon, sent to me through Amazon, uh -huh. and I want to know who ordered this for me. <laughs> Uh, 
Sounds maybe. like Kevin's at work, maybe, or, mm -hmm. or maybe Jason. This is I. I'm yeah. thinking it's Kevin. <laughs> no, I'm, it'd be I, Kevin. Was it any of you? Yeah. No. Have you tried it out yet? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is monkey butt anti uh, a fr a fr anti friction powder. I can't read today because I took one of my one of my uh, uh, neuropathy pills last night. It makes me my eyesight a little blurry. The anti-friction power powder with calamine. Remember we who oh, that, no. That oh, has to geez. that has to be <laughs> that has to be Kevin, right? Shit, now I'm yeah. in. It has to be Kevin. Couldn't be anybody <laughs> else. Anyway, uh can uh, continue we'll bring this up again later if Kevin calls. Mm -hmm. uh, uh 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 continue. Uh, sorry, we we, uh, we also discussed what happens if you need a, a COVID vaccination and have no arms. And I wasn't paying close attention, but it sounded like you get it around your ass, in your ass, or up your ass. One of one of those. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then finally, um, I want everyone to know it's hard to be funny when there were no mention of dude wipes, wife farts, <laughs> civet cats, or bad wallpaper. Well, I kind of made up for second? it tonight, didn't I? Monkey. Can butt? I get a second? Uh, yeah, uh, anybody want a I'll second? second okay, okay. I'll let's continue. Third. All right, oh. uh, and, and uh, let me let me let me remind you: you are the sergeant at arms. So if I anybody think that means you throw people yeah, out. If anybody pisses me off, you're in charge of throwing them out. Ooh, no, no, no! That's a bad job, peace, brother. <laughs> yes, Alan. Well, before we go to uh, the reading, yeah. Of the before death. before we go on, I, I I know that Robert didn't follow this, but he might have been in the group. I can't remember. I watched Monday night's pop-up last night. Some of the things I noticed that I, I, I noticed that Brian Neary is always eating, but he does it with his mouth closed. And I watched me Thursday night eat and I look like a slob. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, but Monday night pop, the Monday pop-up Marjorie was on. It was nice to see her. Mm -hmm. um, somebody show her how to hit the, silence button when she blows her nose it was quite noisy oh, wow. <laughs> so that's the first thing <laughs> tony's mother died and condolences to him there you go write it down Condol uh, <laughs> what do you condolences. say condolences condolences to him condolences okay i had that right mm -hmm. so somebody brought up that tony's mother died and uh that he got a shot and jeffrey says uh you know he might get another new mother i thought well that was <laughs> oh. kind of interesting <laughs> That was kind of and so uh yeah those are those are the only things i noticed yeah uh, mainly i noticed that um it's probably a good idea that i'm not eating when i'm on this thing because i eat like a slob okay and I look horrible. but 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 marjorie blowing her nose and it being loud that 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 i, I died laughing for five minutes that was really cute <laughs> I'll tell her about that tomorrow. Um, maybe maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will have a loud fart. Yes. Isn't that isn't that Monday show a nice little? Pl well, this is getting to be a pleasant show too. I mean, so, the, the more Trump is fading off into the distance, the nicer this show becomes. Now you haven't got your shot, have you? No, that's tomorrow. 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 So I got my shot yesterday. Oh fuck oh, you! Wow. Ooh. I knew everybody okay. would have to be happy. Yeah, but how how is it that I I went through all kinds of trouble and it took me an hour, two hours, and I finally found a place and I went, mm. hey, we're going to be able to get it on the twentieth, and we got it for the twentieth, and we were bragging to everybody, we got, we're going to have our shot on the twentieth, and all of a sudden everybody's getting the shot before me. Tony got his shot before me. Oh yeah. That pissed me off. Dr. Doom's getting pissed. Yes, and Charlie's <laughs> really pissed. Yes, Charlie. I, I've been getting a message for two days now that there is no vaccine available within 100 miles of Austin. Ooh. Uh, Even boy. though I'm eligible to receive a shot, there's no vaccines available, so I can't even set up an appointment. You can come here. They're giving them out in the Bay Area. Yeah. Uh, or uh, register as a Republican. Uh, That'll no. work. So, so you got. That's your, why I can't, because I'm not registered as a Republican. You, you got your shot yesterday, Alan. Me? Yeah, Alan. You're looking. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. you're looking down at on my screen. Yes, well, I got my I, shot. I, I, I don't know where I'm looking anywhere. 
Okay, I, I think the, I got I the Pfizer it's shot. This, it's this. I had was a sore shoulder yesterday. Yeah, uh huh. No other side effects. Uh, uh, okay, mm -hmm. because Tony keeps writing me. I had a sore uh, arm. You're not going to be able to do your show tomorrow night because you're going to have a slight fever. Blah 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 blah. And I'm going. Everybody talk to. They just get a sore so you, arm. I get a sore arm every you, time I get a flu shot. For Christ's you, sake. You know that there was a bad lot L O T of. Moderna vaccines. They went yeah. to Southern California and to New York City, mm -hmm. I understand. And so it's only 330,000 uh, vaccines in it. And so, but they've got others out there. A friend of mine got a shot here. Uh, two friends actually got Moderna shots okay. and both are having side effects. So maybe I got lucky. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I, do I'm you, sure they didn't. Do you know which them. one you got? I, I got the Pfizer. Yeah, well, I'm I'm getting the Moderna. Oh well, okay. good. And hopefully, you don't have ill effects from it. Well, so. you know, I what, you you really everybody is talking like, oh, I had flu-like effects. Well, this thing doesn't give you the flu. No, you know? that's not the way this that's thing a, works. That's a side effect of any vaccine. They can give you fever, low-grade fever, yeah. feeling like shit for a day or two. You know, it's just. And they and they and if say I feel that, like if I feel like shit tomorrow night, how's that different from any other night? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That was my thought. I wasn't going to bring it up though. I like that that sounded, wait a minute, that sounded like something from Passover. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How is this feeling shitty any different than any <laughs> other feeling shitty? shitty? Exactly. <laughs> because on yeah, this I, night, we, I, I don't know. I, other than a sore arm, where they gave me the injection yesterday, I feel fine. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm getting the Moderna. At least that's what I think I'm getting because I got a little PDF that talked about Moderna and, you know, what it does and so on. But uh, um, I, you know, I'm, I imagine, look, I could I could get anaphylactic shock. You know, I mean, any number of things are possible. That was, but that was why the Moderna was recalled because in San Diego County or something, 10 people out of, 2,000 people ended up with anaphylactic shock. They were treated. They're fine. Um, and so that's a high number because overall, I guess, vaccines in this country, about one person in every 250,000 have that reaction statistically. So, and this is all new. And so I bet, I bet they have that reaction statistically just to any flu shot. You can get it from a bee sting. Yeah. Oh, oh I just got. I just got a. I just got a text from one of Robert's favorite people, mm -hmm. Phil Meyer. Mm -hmm. He said to let you know that he's getting his shot tomorrow. See, every what? what why did I even wait in line? What caliber? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> what caliber? <laughs> He's probably listening to the show. Now watch. You watch what's going to happen tomorrow night. Tomorrow they're not going to send me the letter, and I'm going to have a hard time getting it. And meanwhile, no, everybody aren't. else will be getting it, you know, so. Uh, you can come to Connecticut. Yeah, but I'll let you. I mean, I know. Has anybody well, died yet? Yeah, my, Tony's mother. No, on the vaccine. She died of COVID. She didn't die I'm from the, the vaccine. Oh, no, the vaccine? No, but I will be the first mm -hmm. one. Did, did you see the first part of this this before you logged on? Oh. What, what do you mean the first part? Oh, you missed, you missed Robert's. Report. You missed my little <laughs> report. Read him the part about about him again. Well, I said we started the meeting discussing why Brian wasn't here on Thursday night, and he said he was watching TV, but nobody believed him. <laughs> and from now on, when he's watching, he needs a note from home. I was yeah. trying to give Batgirl, Batwoman, whatever that one is, a chance. I don't believe you. Oh, the new one. Yeah. Look, look, yeah. Look, look, They're really look, uh, they got. The uh, interracial lesbian uh, now boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, it's just too much to keep up. Well, with no, well, it was they, the other in Robert's hands. The other Batwoman was a lesbian. I mean, too. not Robert, uh, but uh, but Brian. But I don't Brian know. Brian Eady. I don't. I wait, hold on a second. I don't know if this one's a lesbian. <clears throat> this Bat Woman, okay, but they, it's just the way they tried to wedge. You know, the other one quit. So they had to wedge this new one in there, and it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, it's not working. Yeah, at least weird. so far. Yeah, so, G yeah. gave it one episode, and yeah, yeah. I think, I think maybe because the expectations, because Titan was so good. Yeah, Titan's really good. Yeah, it's Titan's hard to really go yeah. from there. Yeah, <clears throat> well, try Doom Patrol. You'll like Doom Patrol. Okay. Yeah. 
Anyway, so uh, uh, so that was the report uh, that you missed, uh, Brian. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah, I make the report every night when I'm late. That's nice. <clears throat> well, you know, this uh, this is the end of our long national nightmare, huh? Thank God. Uh, tomorrow, day one of boredom. Here. What? Tomorrow's day one of boredom. I have no show tomorrow night. You know, uh, all we can say is, like, nice banners. You know, that's about it. Mm-hmm. You know. Or we can talk about the FBI shooting all the uh, Trump fans that are trying yeah. to invade. I think, I think starting tomorrow, just to make things flowing. interesting, I'm going to start calling for the impeachment of Biden. I think that that would be just, you know, why not? Uh, the, uh, the Republicans already are. Yeah, the Q, what's her name from North Carolina has already yeah. done that. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, what are her, what's her reasoning? What's her? She never gave a reason. Oh. Oh, oh, for stealing okay. the election. That's why. Yeah. Okay, stealing that's right. I, I got to get this solved now. Hold on a second. Here comes Kevin. <laughs> Kevin? I missed the important part Does of the meeting. Does this look Kevin. familiar to you? <laughs> Did you send that to me? No. Then who the fuck sent me monkey butt? <laughs> Maybe it's, it's, it's Renati again. Maybe it's Ray Bernardi. He always likes sending you stuff like that. No, but this was sent by by um, um, uh, Amazon. My super brought it up. Yeah, then you open up the box the first. No, it was kind of ripped open though a little bit. Somebody was trying to get at my monkey butt. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's Ray. Renati, Renati. I think it there must be Ray. I, 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 I thought it was Kevin. He was he was no. my best bet. No, Renati's bored. He's bored. He's not doing any drama stuff, so he's just sending people gifts. Or maybe your super's trying to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's a fan. It's not just monkey you, butt. It's anti. You ride on the elevator with you? Anti monkey butt. What? <laughs> yeah. I, I hear it's good if you get on the seat with the Pelotron. Yeah. It, it's a bunch of balls <laughs> sticking to your ass. The Pelotron? I don't know. What is it? What What's the bike called? Peloton. That's it. Peloton, oh yeah. Peloton, Pelotron. No. We know it. Maybe maybe Steve Bannon sent it to you. He just got he just got pardoned, so maybe he's sending oh, you oh, a gift. Really? Did, did we get pardoned? Really? Did yeah, the par- he did. Did yeah. the par- yes. pardons oh. did the pardons come in? That's horrible. Well, Steve Bannon got pardoned, so I guess he's just sitting there in the bathroom uh getting ready to go and yeah. just writing up the list. Yeah, Phil just wrote and said uh oh he asked. Oh, Alan asked for your address. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Busted! I'll kill him. Huh? Do you want? Do you I want? want oh, we know. Out? So was was it you, Alan? Yes. Busted. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'll admit it. It was me. Are you trying to? T- I thought you- it, I thought you would enjoy. Having a late Hanukkah gift. Thank you. Are you trying to tell me something? No, I don't know that much about oh, you. Look, there's a monkey butt there. Do you Bill's want him rat. to throw his ass out? Huh? Bill's a rat. <laughs> no, no, no. But he I'm wouldn't. Kill the thing Phil. is, he wouldn't fess up earlier. That's the only problem. Yeah, that was sneaky. I was going to do it at the end of the show, but oh well. Well, Phil ruined it for you. Son of a bitch. Yeah, some friend. Yeah. So yeah. This guy. So anyway, uh, don't ever tell him anything anymore. No. You know? um, but uh, no, d- I was just going to look at Drudge and see if maybe there were any other pardons. Uh, it yeah, I lo- thought there was going to be a huge list, right? They said Bannon was the last one, but... John Dillinger. Yeah. He, he doesn't have to reveal who he, he uh, pardons. He can pardon them, and then you don't find out unless they're arrested. Tiger King dude was supposed to be on there, too. Well, to begin with, Drudge has on his uh, on his site. Let me show you this here a second. Whoops, uh, he has on his site um, the uh, um, as a as a goodbye. All right, um, he has. That's all, folks. You know the huh. Warner Brothers thing. Let me see. Trump leaves as he came, isolated and unpredictable. It says here. And uh, is there anything about the I just, parts? I just thought that after all the monkey butt stuff, that you would enjoy having your own. That was Trump's send off today or tomorrow. He's going <laughs> to do that. That's going to be his military gun salute. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said, uh, 
he's been sending out invites and nobody's he's sending out invites with five people allowed to come yeah, exactly. and everybody's returning uh sorry can't make it right <laughs> which is nice and, and, uh, and did you did you even see, pence did you see mcconnell today some of the things he was saying no oh, oh just that yeah, no that he actually said he felt the president was complicit in the in the riots that he through his well that's all that's statement. all nice and dandy now but what the fuck yeah. were they mm-hmm. doing Wait, three four man. weeks ago this is this is what pisses me off about about yeah these you know but they're, I, they're all they're all coming out now the day before that he's leaving you know bunch of pussies they should have done this months yeah but why ago. don't we give him positive reinforcement I, I know, understand that. You, but you understand what I'm saying? I mean, they would have gotten a lot more support six or seven months ago. I mean, yeah, yeah but I mean, forgiveness, he, he finally acted in a way that we've been wanting him to act. And once he does, rather than assail him for it, we should do positive reinforcement. And remember say, their yeah. names, just like Lincoln Project says, remember their names. Yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah. Don't let this crap yeah. go. Nobody says you have to vote for the guy, but you know. <laughs> Now I, the other thing that's really good news uh, is that the uh, 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 new pillow guy, oh, yeah. Mike, uh, whatever, Mike Lindell, Mike Lindell, he's running for governor well, somewhere. Well, did you hear what happened though to his business? No. Yep. Yes. Uh, been dropped by Bed Bath and Beyond and by uh, Coles. Coles. Yes. And by uh, several <laughs> online sales groups and things like oops. that. Oops. Yeah, oops. Um, he's losing a lot of business over opening up his big fat mouth. And I, really? you know, I don't know what he att- thought he was going to accomplish by what he was doing, but it's good to see his business is hurting, you know? Yeah, he's Maybe. got a new friend. Go oh. back to drugs. He's got a new friend. Who's that? Mm-hmm. Donnie Trump. Donnie Trump. I know the president. No, you don't. He's not president anymore. My he question is, he gets to go have meetings and set up martial law. <laughs> From a My question club? is, starting tomorrow, does Phil leave the Republican Party and join the Patriot Party? Is there a new party? I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to get my flag tomorrow. Wait, <laughs> wait, a minute. wait a minute. Is there a new party being formed? Trump yeah, is Trump. talking Trump about forming a new party called the Patriot Party. Yeah. Really? Well, that was a real and bad people, to try to overthrow the government. That and the be- Patriots, New England Patriots, yeah, right. most cheated team in football. So it just fits right in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Did you see Lincoln Project today, Moving Day? Yeah. I missed it. Today is Moving Day. Lincoln Brandon Project, Rainbow. new one, really good. Yeah. The problem is we're all sitting here laughing about it, and there's a 25,000 troops sitting out there not letting anybody go see the damn inauguration. Yeah. Well, now let's go to Josh. I wasn't going anyway. Josh wanted to go. Hmm. Right, Josh? You had a hotel room. <laughs> I was supposed to go, yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to go to my family reunion, too. I couldn't go. Yeah. But so, I mean, it's... Is a peaceful transition of power really a peaceful transition of power if it takes place at the point of a gun? No. Right. No. Well, January 6th ended any peaceful transition to power. I mean, you know, not saying it can be. I, the case, I think but I think they could have done it with less troops. Not quite as peaceful as everyone, you know, would make it sound. I mean, I suppose if you have to completely surround the area with uh infantry and artillery in order to make it happen i don't know that that's really a uh, i don't know if we can call it a peaceful transition of power it is a transition of power but i don't know if it's peaceful I, I, I just because even... just because a fight doesn't break out doesn't make it you know peaceful i mean that boat sail. Uh, I, I i think there's going to be even even with all the troops and everything there's going to be more people that can actually see it live for Biden than for Trump, and he's pissed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, I also have a list. This is interesting. It's very interesting. This is a list of the top uh, news programs on cable TV. Okay, I won't give you the numbers. I'll just give you the uh, facts, man. Rachel Maddow, number one. Yeah, uh, really? I like Rachel. O'Donnell is number two. 
Chris Cuomo is number three. Wow. Then number four is Tucker Carlson. Then five is Jake Tapper. Mm. Six is Anderson Cooper. Seven, Sean Hannity. Yeah. Uh, MSNBC, that uh, Hayes, what's his name? Chris uh, Hayes. Chris Hayes. Chris Hayes. Chris Hayes. Uh, then uh, on CNN, uh, number, what was that? Was that eight, did I say? Number yeah. nine is uh, uh, Aaron Burnett. Uh, number 10 is uh, Fox News, the five. Then Melbourne over at MSNBC, Joy Reid, uh, Laura Ingram, mm -hmm. and then uh, um, uh, what's his name over at uh, Newsmax, uh, Kelly. Um, I can't remember his first name. Greg, Greg Kelly. Greg Kelly. He's the former Kelly. police chief of, of police chief's son. Uh, mm -hmm. he, his father was police chief here in New York, and then he did a morning show at Fox TV in the morning and was laughable. Uh, anyway, the list, huh? It's amazing you made the list. Yeah, but that's but that that's pretty much a route <clears> now <throat> for um, for for uh, Fox that they're being pretty well beaten out. I mean, I Tucker Carlson being number four is what I find amazing, that he's doing better than Hannity. Mm. You know, so. Uh, Don so Lemon would have been on. Hmm? Don Lemon would have been on there, but everybody switches over to this program. That's right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, number 13 was uh, the Ramble with Alex Bennett. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Emerald and, uh, Lagasse's air fryer didn't land in the top 10 somewhere. <laughs> Are you? Oh, yeah. look, Bam! I have to say something. I have to admit, you know, every now and then I admit my guilty pleasures, and I don't know why I do. I guess it's some kind of a catharsis for me, but... I watch those things. <laughs> Somehow I'm going down the dial and there's there's MSNBC and they're railing about something. And all of a sudden there's some guy with his goddamn fryer or uh, some goofy, oh, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and I stop and watch it. Yeah. And I it. think it goes back to my childhood because when I was a kid, uh, I... Uh, was what uh, always watched these guys at like Woolworths who would give you, you know, come on a little closer, let me show you how this works, you know. No. And they would do a whole demonstration, and I would just stand there and watch it as a little kid. And that's all these things are. They moved them out of Woolworths, they moved them out of uh, the five and dime off the street corners. And you know, come on over here, folks, let me show you what I got. I ah, roll up my sleeves, hey, I'm gonna dice some something, and I'm gonna do this with this. I can't, I'm I'm addicted to those shows. Have, have you tried crossword puzzles or? Yes, or, uh, I do crossword puzzles. Do you? Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, I do crossword. Maybe digest. Huh? huh? Uh, Alex, you, you remember Tom Vu did the uh, real estate all night real estate show, mm -hmm. and he and he, he always have a boat with a bunch of chicks and. Oh bikini. yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh. Yeah. But wasn't look, he, look, look what I have? <laughs> wasn't his pitch though that he was trying to teach you how to make money or something? Yeah, yeah, real estate, make money in real and estate. And didn't they arrest him at some point finally? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was because a multi -level he, his la his last suggestion was the best way to make money is to steal it, and that didn't go over too well. <laughs> I heard he got arrested because the girls on the boat kept getting younger and younger. That, that could be too. <laughs> yeah. uh, and he was sailing off to uh, what's his name's island. Uh, Gilligan? Huh? Gilligan's Epstein. Island? No. Uh, oh, no, what's his name? Epstein. Ep Epstein. Yeah. Ep Epstein's Island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, My problem is I keep buying these island. these items on Facebook that pop up like the little square thing when you pack the rice in and then you take it out and it looks all square. And then you have the, the ones that make the pot stickers and all these things on Facebook, these little things that pop up the little thing you put the toothpaste in and then you crank it and it kicks the toothpaste. You oh, know, no, I have, we, we have, we have, two, oh, we have one of those. I keep buying those. We have one of those. And, and Marjorie, oh, yeah. in fact, Marjorie and I had a big fight over it because I put one on and I, crank the crank right mm -hmm. and then i use the toothpaste and the next day i use the toothpaste so i crank the crank after i was put the cap back on and she mm -hmm. said i took the top off and all the toothpaste started streaming out would you please not turn the crank 
So that's another rule I have to abide by here in this household. <laughs> Don't turn the crank on the toothpaste. You'll 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 know who who sends you another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. I have one. It works good. You yeah. got to learn not to crank the crank so much, though. Yeah. Now uh, you bought this on Amazon. I did. I did three for five dollars. I figured, what the hell? Yeah, why did I why, I spent... Wait a minute. Why did I get only one? Yeah. Where are the other two? <laughs> this is oh, not here. that. The, I'm talking about the crank for the toothpaste. Oh, oh, for the toothpaste. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got this one monkey butt, and uh, I guess it's just a powder. You put it on your ass, and it keeps it dry? Right before you get on the Peloton. Peloton. Peloton, whatever. Oh my God, he's speaking like Phil now. We're going to have to start drinking. <laughs> start a new drinking game. Yeah, mm. I ruined that drinking game, didn't I? A Peloton. Hey, there are a lot of people listening to us right now. Just keep the jokes coming, folks. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the blonde wolf? No. Uh, you don't have a you, don't, you have a joke. Yeah, I'd it? love to tell it. So, uh, um, the blonde they wolf. Have skewers. Oh, I, I gotta have those for the barbecue. Look at those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I pay like twenty five dollars by the time shipping and everything, and you guys are probably getting them like five dollars each. Well, I, the, other, so cool. the, other, the other thing I'm hooked on lately is YouTube and watching everything like that has 10 things, like 10 things you didn't know about Indiana Jones. Oh. Those are great. And then it goes on for 25 minutes. I mean, how many, yeah. how long does it take you to tell me 10 things you didn't know about Indiana Jones? <laughs> yeah. I love how, them. Okay. How do you drown a blonde? Tape a scratch and sniff to the bottom of the pool. I don't even get that joke. <laughs> you don't remember the scratch and sniff in the penthouse magazine? Forget it. In penthouse oh. magazine? What does it have to do with blocks? Tape a scratch and sniff to the bottom of a swimming pool. Okay, I'm going to leave. I see Emerald on selling an air fryer. <laughs> Do blonde oh. scratch and sniff in Penthouse magazine? In the bottom of a swimming pool. How do you drown a blonde? In the bottom Tape of a scratch and sniff to the bottom of the pool. It doesn't make sense. And you wonder why you're not getting your shot. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't make, it doesn't make sense because if you had a scratch and sniff at the bottom of the pool, it wouldn't scratch and sniff. Guys to do with scratch and sniff. Oh, so she sniffed, she would drown. I hate having to explain jokes. To no, people. it sounds like you're suggesting we all try to drown blondes. Uh, okay. And being a brunette fan, I don't really don't mind. I think Trump was a blonde, wasn't he, at one time? COVID vaccines create some weird side effects, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they do. They make you try and be funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm getting mine tomorrow, so you can imagine what I'll be like tomorrow oh, night. So it to be good. Yeah. Okay, did you hear about the blonde wolf? She chewed off three of his, her legs and was still stuck in the trap. Now, that's oh. kind of funny. Yeah. Kind yeah, of At funny. least they get it. Yeah. Uh, well, good, Robert. People in New Jersey never get jokes. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> that's not nice. And I get the shirts that don't fit. They, they keep... All these ads about shirts that don't fit, no. t-shirts. Right when well, you, right when you just look well, at one information, you know, all it, of a sudden it, it's COVID, right? And and you no. can't go out to the stores, right? Uh, at least right. I can't. I can't because I'm old and I could get it. And then if I get it, I'm gonna die for sure, right? <laughs> yep. You're not gonna get so it. So I've been ordering pants from the Gap, and I've yet to get a pair that fits me just right. <laughs> and I, exactly. And, and it's like, not like I want to send them back because. What I do if I got to send them back, I have to go out to go to the UPS oh, to send them back. So uh, I'm I'm up to my ass in pants that don't fit me. Yeah, and even if you go, like one of my guilty pleasures is TJ Maxx. <laughs> and I, when I go there, I have to try stuff on because the shirts are too short here or too short since I'm tall and long, unique body. Yeah. And then you can't try anything on. They don't let you try anything on in the changing room. So yeah. I got to bring everything home. And then I got to return like half. Yeah, yeah. So I um um uh, 
uh, I'm going to order one more pair. You know, uh, I or because I ordered a uh, a pair in like uh, 38, and they they fit me really fine. They had a nice little stretch in the kind of in the waist and so on. It was really nice. And then I sent away for another pair of 38, which said it had the same kind of waist. And the it while it fits me, it's snug. It's really snug. And I'm just figuring you know, I'm one burrito away from not being able to wear my pants. So. What is, what is that you're opening up there, uh, Trucker Steve? Oh, you're feeding the dog. Mm. You know what happens they when have, you uh, turkey. Yeah, but you know the trouble with feeding the dog. And I'm some. Yeah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> you you're what? Steve. What did you say? What What did you say? You're feeding the dog. He went away. Oh, there he is. He's in and out. Yeah, you're kind of kind of losing your signal in so, and out. So does he feed the dog and eat at the same time like he does them with going and defecating? Do him and the dog defecate? Well, yeah, because then they both that's how they defecate at the same time. Right. They eat there at the same go. time, so therefore that goes through their digestive system at the same speed, and then they both have to go out to the bathroom together. Well, I don't know. <sighs> there you go. <clears throat> See what this show has become, folks. There's nothing to talk about. What you know? I was I was looking to see if if we had any pardons here, and there aren't any so far. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen. Well, any. Remember, he doesn't have to tell anybody. No. Yeah, but the other ones have been coming pardon. out. It'll leak out though. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. I want I mean, to tell you, America has really changed, and I'm, I'm proud of them in a way. Uh, it turns out that it says here, Melania leaving office as the least popular first lady. <laughs> now, how, she, she how did she wind up being the least popular first lady when she was the best looking piece of ass we ever had as a first lady? I'm sorry. I disagree. I, yeah, I think she's ugly. Well, I mean, she's plastic. Yeah. You know. So... Uh, so Robert probably can answer this. He's the historian here. In order to be a U.S. president in the United States, you have to be born in the United States. Isn't that correct? Yes. President. No. No. You don't have to be born in the United States. No, you yes, don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You have to be a natural. You can't be a naturalized citizen. Josh? Come on, Josh. Yeah. You natural to, born uh, citizen wait a does not mean born you physically have to be a natural in the United born States. citizen, but... I mean, you have to be a natural born citizen. So, you cannot. So Cruz, you were born to parents at Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany. Right, for in example. Germany, that'd be fine. Or, okay, so Ted I mean, Cruz, or Okinawa at a Marine Corps base or something. John McCain was not born yeah. in the United States. Right, he but was, he was born on on a. a uh, it was born on a. Uh, uh, what, a and naval base or something? Well, you said born in the United States. Well, I mean, you don't have to You're be on a base. The yeah, there's, yeah, as long as your parents are, are <clears throat> natural citizens, you, you're a citizen too, right? And if your mother gives birth on a cruise ship while they're on a cruise, I mean, you're a natural born citizen. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at Ted Cruz, born in Alberta, Canada, or something yep. like that. Calgary, Canada, somewhere in Canada. Yep. His parents are from Cuba or someplace like that, How, he ran for president. He's a naturalized U.S. citizen. No, he's not naturalized. Uh, what do you call it? No, he, he's considered a natural-born citizen because apparently his dad was a, was a uh, citizen of the United States when Ted Cruz was born. Right oh. around the time he killed Kennedy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if his mother was a citizen of the United States... And his mother was at the time young. of his birth, you know, regardless of where <clears throat> he was. I think his mother was Canadian, his father was American. Okay. That's regardless of where he was, you know, yeah. given birth at, you know, he's a he's a natural person. All you have to have is states. Yeah. All you have to have is one okay. parent. That's Learn something new every day. Yeah. Uh, because I thought that I thought you had to be, you know, you had to you couldn't I mean one of your parents can be an American and the other one doesn't have to be. No. Uh, right. In the case of our current new vice president, newly minted vice president, what her her mother is Indian, right, or something like that? Jamaican, huh? Yeah. Not Jamaican. Jamaican. No, her dad's Jamaican. Her mother. Yeah, her mom's from India. Her mom's India. from India. 
<clears throat> well, wait, if he's from Jamaica, is he an American citizen? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they were naturalized. I yeah. think both of them. Were. Yeah, they were both yeah. professors. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. They were, yeah. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, her mother is a is an Indian, and we're talking uh, Dothead, not woo woo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought we're healing. This is supposed to be the healing president. Okay? The, uh, that <laughs> uh, that was always my favorite thing was was Albert, my former producer Albert, on, yeah, on on Sirius XM. Whenever we talk about Indians, he'd always say Mumbai or. Uh, or 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 woo woo. Yeah, well, woo woo, woo, woo I get, but the dot on the head—that's kind of that's sad. Well, you know why they Same have a, you know why they have a dot on their head, don't you? Yes, it's from I all do, the all the, nice. It's all from the store owners going, "Get out of my store now!" <laughs> or you're so <laughs> fucking <laughs> ugly. Yeah, right. I th I thought it was a targeting thing for the police. Yeah, well, you know that's what I'm we should sorry. do. Yeah, Indian women are gorgeous. Oh, you're telling me? Yes. I'm watching this documentary the BBC did called "The Death the Death in Bollywood" about this actress who was like 23 and she wound up committing ostensibly committing suicide, but they're saying it was murder, and mm. she was gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. Yep, you know. So uh, I, you know, I agree okay. with you. There, the women are just out of this world, you know. Did she have a daughter? Was she an American Indian? She was an. Uh, she was a. Actually, she was British, oh. of Indian descent, yes. and she liked dancing to all the Bollywood movies she saw when she was a little yeah. kid, and uh, she uh, then finally went to India, and and okay. got into the movies. And became this very big movie star there. You know who I'm talking about? Alan's going nodding his head yes. No. You... I'm, no, I'm just nodding my head. Oh, okay. I, just, I thought maybe you're having a stroke or something there. No, not okay. this week. Right. Yes, uh, Jeff. So, does anybody going to have something special to drink tomorrow for the new president? Yeah, we should drink tomorrow night. I'm getting some champagne for him. Me yeah, too. Yeah. How about how about for ourselves? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's. Uh, uh, <clears throat> let me put it this way: I don't know how good a president Biden is going to be. I hope he's terrific, okay, but I'm just happy that he isn't Trump. That's right. Okay, okay. and that he is a slightly more moral person who cares about the welfare of the American people above himself. Mm -hmm. Now, whether he is able to be a good president, which means trying to affect change and getting things passed and so on, I don't know. That's yet to be seen. Did you ever see this footage of uh, when when Trump gets out of the uh, the SUV when when you know when the at, at the White House mm -hmm. when uh, he he was you know meeting Obama and his wife you know and he yeah. gets out of the car and he just walks up and forgets that he even has a wife. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He gets out on the other side, has to walk around the car by herself and up the steps. Oh and, yeah, and and he's like ignoring her. It's like when when I saw that, you know, I mean, I mean, the whole country should have known right then and there that this guy was a mistake. It was we made a terrible and mistake. That's why we're, we're now giving them. That's why we're now spotting the marriage a week. Okay. Well, I was going to say we should have a gabnet pool over yes. under six months. All right, yes. uh, Robert. Oh. Uh, I say under six months, there's word of her. Oh, before date. Valentine's Day. You need a date. She'll okay. be gone before Valentine's Day. Well, wait a minute. Day. Over under six months. Yeah. Will Will there be news of a separation and divorce within six months? Over or under? Okay. So you're saying under. I'm saying under. How about you, well, Alan? So they have to have somewhat of a uh, an agreement to get Unmarried. No, all Somebody she has, has to do, to see all lawyer. she has to do, is pack right. up, right? You know, uh, but uh, Alan, over under. I, I assume you're talking about Trump and Melania, right? Yeah. Yes. I, I no, we're talking be... about Trump and the uh, Hollywood porn star, I, uh, I Stormy Daniels. Over. I agree with Robert. He's to the right on me and my screen. I agree with Robert. Under six months. Under six months. Same here. I'm there. You're yes. there. 
Yeah. But, but I also say this will be the last time you see them together. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, how about, how about, how about you, Trucker Steve? Over or under? Under. I say under three months. Under three yeah. months. Oh, that's a good oh. one. Okay. Wow. Uh, I can name that tune in two notes. How about you, Charlie? Under six weeks. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. I'm telling you, by Valentine's Day, she's gone. That's only what? Four <laughs> weeks away? Oh, come on, Charlie. That's the most romantic day of the year. Come on. Exactly. I'm not going to be a part. Those lovebirds. <laughs> what's that got? Yeah, what's that got to do with him? <laughs> yeah. How about you, Jeff? September. September. Very good. Okay, see, he's more specific. Josh? I couldn't tell you, man. Well, I don't, I don't waste any fucking time worrying about Trump or his fucking <laughs> hey, white trash. Did, fucking anybody, see, uh, <laughs> any, anybody see Colbert last night? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Over, under, uh, what did you say? I say? I say over, but you won't see them together after this this week. Oh. Oh, okay. How about you, Kevin? They'll be together forever. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve each other. <laughs> How much do you get if you, if you win that one? The you know, power I'm, of I'm, love. I, you know, it's it's funny. You're you're, you're kidding, probably, Kevin. <laughs> but Absolutely I don't know. Not. I, I don't... The guy's been great. I, I'm I'm sad to see him go. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? That's a Zoom bomber. Delete that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's not really our Kevin. I think those guys over at Cochran uh, over seen. the overpass. I've never seen anything better than that. Um, it is going to be. It's going to be a. He's gone down in history. Who is this guy? What has he done to Kevin? <laughs> he took the overpass at Cochran where all those Trump supporters were by accident. John, what are you? What are you calling it? Uh, under six months. Under six months. You know, I might go along with Kevin. That that's, that they'll stay married. They probably won't live in the same quarters, uh, whatever. But they might stay married. Uh, I, I, I mean, can you imagine Melania? She's fairly good looking. Having to roll over and <laughs> see this whatever it is in bed with her. But do you think? Yeah, yeah. Do you think she's had to in a long time? No. Nope. You know. Nope. How's his hair look at night? Oh my god. <laughs> And we'll see there's never... three comb overs in that thing. Remember, what's his name? So there's well, three comb overs. Here's the, yeah. the here's the big problem. He has no pubic hair because that's what they were using for the uh, plugs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Is, uh, Mark, somebody said that the, the mushrooms are protesting because they keep saying it's the shape of his dick or something. Uh, no, the, <laughs> the, 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 I, what was the mushrooms are complaining because they don't want to be compared to Trump's penis. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> did you see Bill Maher's book? The book that he did that night? Yeah, Pack your shit and get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. <laughs> oh my God. That was so funny. <laughs> it, it read it like a poem or whatever, like Dr. Seuss yeah. or something. Like Dr. Seuss, yeah. 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 You know, maybe. Maybe Trump dyes his pubic hair the same color as his hair, orange. <laughs> it could be. That's do the, do the drapes match the uh, curtains? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we are having You don't have to worry about that with Melania. She doesn't have any, any uh, rugs. <laughs> we really? hope. Really. Uh, I tell you, when he's down in Florida, mm -hmm. like tomorrow or the next day, <laughs> Yeah. Now here's the guy. He's gonna be wearing shorts and a pair of white sneakers, walking around Florida. Yeah. Like like an old guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he. I don't think he can live there that long because of the rule they have. I guess. Yep. I guess he's not really supposed to live there. Yeah. yeah I think he's he's right. gonna buy have to buy another place down there, right by it probably. Yeah. But nobody wants him. The caddy shack. Well, supposedly it cannot be, uh, Mar-a-Lago cannot be used as a residence. Right. And it can only be lived in for one month out of every year by the same yeah. person. So uh, it's it's time for him to go bye-bye. You know, they're not going to keep him there. And uh, I, I have a funny feeling he's going to wind up wandering the globe looking for someplace. He can't come back to New York. 
It's yeah. just impossible for him to be in New York. He'll be in prison. Oh, that we he'll yeah, be arrested maybe. immediately. Well, it's not even that. The city just hates him. Oh yeah. yeah. The whole yeah. state hates him for the way he treated us. Did you see Colbert arrested, last night? But in 30 days, he'll be arrested, and he won't have to look for a place. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Did we... anybody see Colbert last night? No. They, they, you know that actress that does uh, Melania? No. She I... did a big Broadway send-off, you know, where she was singing and everything. And the, and the, uh, the people in – she was doing it in Times Square, and the people that were, like, in the video were going, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> off and shit <laughs> yeah i i you know something i can't watch colbert yeah it's getting kind of old no i kind of find him difficult to deal with i just don't like him you know i find it not particularly funny kind of I, I like the guy that took over the daily show what's his name from south africa trevor no i don't watch him but i hear he's very good i hear he's terrific the guy that yeah. took over yeah Craig Ferguson? Uh, no, 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 no. Trevor, Trevor Noah. Noah. Trevor, Trevor Noah. Noah. Oh, Trevor Noah. Not yeah. yeah. Uh, Trevor Noah, yeah. yeah. He's really funny. He was a comedian, and he's really funny. And uh, he did an hour-long interview of Obama. Hmm. And he said, what do I call you? Do I call you Mr. President or, or Mr. Obama? And he says, you can just call me Barack. And he says, yeah, but then that sounds like I'm a parrot. <laughs> oh, Barack. <laughs> Rock, rock. I don't know. <laughs> well, he, I wonder if you can call him Barry. I mean, some of his friends call him Barry. Yeah, yeah. you know, that that's what when he was growing up, that's what everybody yeah, called him. That was, that maybe, was a... maybe Melania gets a job on The View. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you wouldn't no. understand it, so it wouldn't make a difference. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That whole family, man, they're just going to go down as just pariahs. Nobody's going to yeah. have anything to do with them. And do you remember what these guys were posting? These guys were posting there was going to be a dynasty. He yeah. was going yeah. for more, and then and then Junior or Ivanka was going to be another eight years, and we're going to be stuck with these guys like for a lifetime. Yeah, Hitler thought the same thing too, didn't he? Yeah. Well, a thousand year Reich. Yes. Yep. Which lasted yep. about a week and a half. So yep. you know, I think a lot of these pundits are going to start dropping off because you know they're not going to have any any material to talk about well this is what i'm beginning to wonder you know like colbert has made his whole thing out of being anti-trump and and getting people to watch him but what's yeah. he going to be able to do now yeah. talk about monkey butt stuff whatever that is yeah. he's going to have to do what we're do we're doing right now talk yeah. about nothing in particular yeah people said the same guys... thing when obama came in after george w mm. Yeah, what well, Obama, Obama, there wasn't, you know, when I was doing uh, um, uh, Sirius yes. XM and Obama was president, uh, I actually used to put him down a lot, if anybody here remembers or remembers yeah. that show. Uh, and I put him down because I, I felt he was not the most effective of presidents, at least in his first term. But he got better in his second term. It was like he got used to being president and knowing how to be president. And uh, he became a pretty damn good president. Uh, but I, I felt he was, we had hired a rank amateur, okay? But he came to, he got, he got up to the task, you know? And uh, by the time he, he left, I was a fan. It, didn't he pass Obamacare in the first ter term? Uh, no. Yeah. Was it, yes. was it first term? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 2010. Yeah. Oh, was, okay. Well, he had pretty much had to save the country with all the, the, the economy yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the bailouts for the cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, yeah. the whole fucking country was going down the tubes. You know? I, I would like to say this because this will all make us feel really warm and fuzzy. I think the real person with the impetus behind the Obama administration was Biden. You know, that he got a lot of the stuff passed for Biden. I yeah. think I so. mean, for Obama. Well, yeah, Obama. He might have handled a lot. For Obama. Oh, yeah, do you think he, he still has? Do you think he still has enough connections in in the Senate and the White House for that right now? I mean, for the, uh, you know, House something. Staff. Once a member of the Senate, always a member of the Senate. They're kind of a, they're kind of a club. Well, a Biden's still with, also, Biden's still in the White House with a lot of people that were on on Obama's staff. Yeah, yeah. Janet yeah. Yellen, you know, people like that. So, what do you think, Josh? You think uh, you think uh, Biden had a lot to do with Obama's? If he had any successes, his successes. 
We know he helped. He was pretty helpful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was a you know, he was a valuable vice president for sure. I yeah. mean, he certainly had his strengths in that area. I mean, people work well with him in the past, so I think he'll be able to accomplish a fair amount of stuff that's you know decent uh, and helpful for the kind of issues that we're having. I mean, I don't I don't think there's going to be any sort of extreme left wing, you know, policy changes or anything like that. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, there's not going to be, you know, a twenty dollar federal minimum wage and all of these other sorts of things that people would love to have. I mean, I don't really see much of that happen, but he'll be able to accomplish some some good stuff that will help people and make some people happy. Do you think that if he came out with something like a twenty dollar federal wage, he couldn't get that just passed because he's got the votes for it? Or do you well, think I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he's going to have votes for that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. I don't think he's going to have votes to get the extra fourteen hundred dollars to everybody. Well, but but it only has to be passed by fifty percent of the Congress in both houses, right? So it's it's not no. like a two thirds majority. No, because they they they've been talking about ten members of. 10 Republican members of the Senate are on, but he needs 17. No, no, no. That, that's oh, for that's impeachment. For that's for impeachment. I'm talking about passing a minimum wage oh. law. Oh, sorry. All you need is, you know, 51 votes. And yeah. you, in the Congress, you just need one vote more than there are people in Congress. Am I right, Josh? Yeah, for most legislation, right. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, it, he'll be able to get some things done. But, I, but I mean, I don't even know that he's going to garner, for certain things like that, even... 50 votes in the Democratic Party are not guaranteed to him for anything that he wants. I mean, Joe Manchin, you know, there are certain people in states that, you know, they have to get reelected to. Mm-hmm. There are a fair number of states that have one Republican senator and one Democratic senator. Yeah, but how do you become and, unpopular by making the minimum wage uh, $20, say? I mean, after all, most people... Most people are working people. They would like, you know, they, they'd be getting paid minimum wage jobs. That seems like it would be worth votes, wouldn't it be? Well, like, yeah, but I don't think that's the way it works. I mean, a lot of things would be worth votes, but it, it I mean, free health care for everybody would be in everybody's best interest, but it's never garnered enough popular support to happen. I never could figure out why. No. I mean, why doesn't, why, why doesn't people want to not have to get a bill? Because Bernie Sanders is behind it. Yeah, well, you know, Some I gotta tell just... you, I gotta tell you, oh. I, uh, uh, you know, I've been dealing with medical lately, with like just just the you know the prescription drug <laughs> prices and shit like that, and it's really getting me depressed. I mean, you know, because I I had to get out of my old medical thing because SAG after it dropped us like a uh, orphan baby by the <clears throat> sidewalk, you know, in the gutter. Uh, and, and so we've had to go with other stuff, and I'm, I'm all of a sudden I'm getting to realize how expensive this all is. Yep. I mean, our monthly, each of us is yeah. three hundred and six dollars a, a, a month. What? Well, your 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 health care isn't going to be free. I mean, they're going to add taxes onto your income, so it's six of one and half a dozen the other. So what you're exactly free... except a hundred percent will be covered. Correct, correct. But your your income tax will go up. Well, yeah. so that's I, gonna, that's what's going to happen. But you will like you know, I like I give a shit. Yeah, but your copays will go away. It's, correct. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like it's like when you yeah. when it's you really low maintenance. It's low maintenance. It's, it's like I give really I need. it's like I give a shit. I don't work. Yeah, you know? when you yeah, really right. need it. When you really need health insurance, you, you're not working anymore anyway. Right, right. Maybe. You just got to hope that a lot of the young people continue to work to support yeah, all the old people. We're, we're paying $306 a piece every month. Well, her company is paying it. But $306 a month. So they uh, they pay the, uh, the uh, 20% that Medicare doesn't pay. So they're not even paying like all our medical fees and things like that, right? You know, I understand if you have medical insurance today and and you're paying for it and you're not, uh, you don't have Medicare. I hear it costs a fortune. Oh yeah, I mean eleven hundred dollars a month is what it cost me. 
even more. Wow. Okay? Mm. Even more. I think my brother doesn't pay. You know, he's self-employed and he pays more than that. Jesus. Wow. It's insane. Well, well, there is something that needs to be taken care of, huh? Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's just it's it's getting ridiculous. And then then I find that what is that? We got a thing from the IRS that they're taking out more money out of our out of our uh, Social Security because of the uh, the health coverage. Uh-huh, and we're, and, we're, and we, we're not using their health coverage. We're using, you know, a, a third party uh, for the health cover for the prescription coverage. But they want us to pay extra for prescription coverage anyway for the Part D, even though we're not getting the Part D. I mean, we're getting something under Part D, but not a, as Part D. The government isn't spending anything on us. Well, Trump pardoned uh, Steve Bannon. Yeah, yeah I we know. We, we found that yeah, out. That was yeah, the news yeah. earlier. Yeah. Did, did you guys? I don't know if you guys talked before I got on, but did you see the the Biden uh, the tribute and the reflection, the pool? Reflection yeah, well, that was pool. beautiful. Yeah. That was, yeah, was absolutely really nice. inspiring. Yeah, and then it, you didn't have any of that the last four he, years. He did no. more. He did more in thirty minutes than Trump <laughs> yes. did during his entire yep. term for COVID. Yep. You know, Biden's got a list of executive orders that they're hoping to to put through within the first 24 hours, rejoining yeah, the them, World Health Organization, mm, Paris okay. Climate Accord. There's about 10 of them, I think. 12, I think, yeah. Will they, will they let us back in? Mm. Well, that's Back in the Paris Accord, Accord. Yeah. yeah. They want our money. The grabs, but I think they ought to want to. <laughs> well, it's nice that he's trying to mend fences, you know. Mm. That's really what that's all about. Um, and I think it's going to be... It's going to be uh, you know, it'll. Let's see what he does. I hope he. I hope number one that he gets more money to the states for this whole COVID thing. Uh, yes, uh, John. I I can't believe it. Trump pardons a guy who is ripping off people that were spending money on trying to build that stupid fucking fence. That's what he got yeah. busted for. It was a bogus <clears throat> investment scam to raise money to build the fence, and they were just stealing money. And Trump yep. fucking pardons the guy. That just, just goes to show how fucking, yeah. you know, cynical piece of shit he is, you know? Well, look who's back again tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Yes. Hi there. How you doing, Adrian? <laughs> it's louder. How are you doing, Adrian? He's being shy. Adrian. Being oh, shy. <laughs> So, so I don't, I don't, John. I think is over here. I don't understand how you don't understand how Trump's pardoning somebody for the wall thing. I mean, just look at his whole presidency. I he, know. Pard- he pardoned some rappers that got criminally. Little Wayne, yeah, that guy, Little Wayne. I mean, yeah. But I mean, out of the fence. Why would that be so? <laughs> there we go. Know, but he was ripping people off that were trying to build the fence. You know, that's insane. <laughs> That's I think he never cared about Brian. the damn wall. I know. Brian. I know. It was Wait a minute. all a lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brian, on the left side, the molar, I think she's got a cavity. Yeah. Uh, 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 Adrian, you know, if you if you do that for too long, you'll have your face like that for the rest of your life. Ooh. It'll look like daddy. It'll stick. <laughs> oh, God. It, 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 that's what why we want a better world right there. Yeah. So yeah. she can grow up in a better one than we than we have right now, but uh, uh, oh, she's she's yeah. she's just being a poster child right now. Anyway, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, it's time now for music. Yeah. Music I paid for. Music. We're all going to be having champagne tomorrow. Together, okay, well, right? uh, oh, yes. I, well, we have champagne here, so I'm going to get a bottle of champagne. We'll just all get rip roaring, stinking drunk. And see how this show sounds, okay? And I don't drink normally, so if I drink, I get a couple of swigs, I'm gone. All right? Hey. Well, have fun, man. The last day of the end of the world. Uh, Thank you so much, uh, Robert. Thank you. And our sergeant at arms, we'll see you again tomorrow night, sir. You didn't have to throw anybody out tonight. Almost did. Uh, Almost did. Uh, Alan, thank you for being with us. Uh, Rocky and uh, Trucker Steve, thank you for being with us. Enjoy your monkey butt. Charlie Wallace, thank you. Uh, And Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, uh, uh, John Larkin. Uh, What is that? (laughs) What is that? 
Thank you very uh, much uh, to uh, that uh, that that thing, whatever it is, and uh, and and uh, Mr. Neary, and of course Kevin. Thank you so much, everybody. Why don't you give a big wave goodbye? I'll give a big wave goodbye as well. Good night, all of you. And that's our uh, that's our 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 folks here on the panel for tonight. Uh, they'll be back again. Some of them will be back again tomorrow night. Others may uh, join us uh, who didn't join us tonight. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we are going to go. Uh, next is Jack Bishop. He's got the intersection. That's next. He's going to be taking your calls at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, wear a mask. And stay safe out there. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>